Good morning. It's about 8.15 on the East Coast of the United States, January 20th already, 2022. Oh, do you sometimes just think about time flies? Oh my goodness. Well, yesterday uh, for the afternoon, I substitute taught a class of um, pre-kindergarten, we call it pre-K, four-year-olds. So there were about, I don't know, 13 or 14 kids in the class, and four of them were already five, and the rest of them were still four. Oh my goodness, that was uh, an education for me, because it's one thing when you relate with your own grandchild that's that age. And my grandson was in that class, but oh, to have a whole group of them, oh my goodness. The cutest thing was that of course my grandson was calling me Grammy and his little best friend is in that class and his little best friend was calling me Grammy too. <laughs> so that was just so cute. Oh my goodness. Well, another day, we're gonna get rain later today here. And I thought, you know, a couple days ago, I experimented with some milked cashews, it was called. I just still, you know, can't help but think of somebody milking a bunch of nuts. But, um, so cashew milk, but it was a real high fat cashew milk. And it was good, but honestly and truly, the oat milk, the lower calorie oat milk and the lower calorie almond milk really tasted just as good to me. Um, the only difference, the big difference was that the froth that it made in the milk frother was thicker and it didn't dissipate as quickly. In fact, even when I was done drinking a big cup of coffee, there was still froth in the bottom that didn't even want to you know, when I turned the cup up, it didn't want to come down the cup into my mouth. So, you know, I guess if you like really, really thick froth, then those higher fat milks, you know, they may be a good deal for you. But, you know, I always tell you, I like to chew my calories. Well, that got me thinking along the lines of, I see so many people commenting on, oh, I tried this new creamer and that new creamer, and I don't want to use my, you know, it's not that I have a certain number of calories during the day, but if I'm going to have something that's packed with more energy, which is what calories are, I'd rather have it be something that I chew that feels like it fills me up better. So um, I thought, well, let me experiment a little bit more with extracts. And I love, I tell you what, I'm one of those people who loves an almond odor and things like marzipan and macaroons that are made from almond paste, not the coconut ones, the ones made with almond paste. Ooh, I have some almond extract here. I love the odor. So I thought, well, okay, this morning, all right, I'm going to go ahead and I've got some Nespresso Virtuo Forest variations, and this is the Forest Almond. Now, the almondy sort of notes in it are very subtle, but I want to give it, I want more bang for my buck, you know? So I am going to increase it by adding almond extract and Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Oh my goodness. I have <clears throat> some oat milk that's already open. You know, to me, oat milk just really, really has a great flavor, especially in coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead and put about four ounces of oat milk. Now this is the Planet Oat. It's just got 45 calories per cup. And um, this, it's very low fat. It's 0 0.5 grams of fat per cup. But it froths up okay. And I'm gonna take the almond extract. I'm not gonna measure it. I'm just gonna give it 
that much. <laughs> oh, the, the, I just, I love it. Okay, and, oh, by the way, I got this new shelf thingy for my kitchen. I don't, I don't have a lot of space by my sink. I mean, see, there's the space, and that's it, you know? So there's really no room for a drying rack. So I've always used a very small one, but I found this one, and I really like this. And it's, uh, you know, it's collapsible. These things come off. But yeah, this just, uh, I feel like, is gonna work out really well, so. I definitely want to froth this up and brew the coffee into the milk froth. So here's my orchid. Should be getting ready to send out a bloom spike sometime soon. Well, we'll see. So there's the oat milk. It's being spun around by that little spinner inside that has a spring on it. And the spring helps, you know, incorporate air into it and just sort of keep whooshing it around. And I've got my forest almond coffee here. I just pop it into the machine and lock it. And I've got my 17 ounce double walled glass mug with a plastic spoon so I don't bust the inside. You can see the inner wall and the outer wall. So that milk should be ready in just a minute. It's, you know, I enjoyed substituting at the school yesterday, but it's really nice to be home too. I think, you know, it's nice to do every once in a while. And of course, at this school, masks are required. And they, I don't know, I think in the last couple of years, have only had maybe one or two COVID cases in the whole school. Um, so, you know, those masks are working. And like, um, after the kids had lunch, they ate in the room. And of course, they have dividers that they're at round tables and they have... Uh, dividers that divide the tables into four quadrants that are see-through. So um, we went around and Lysoled all the tables and chairs and dividers and um, you know the kids got to take their mask off when they got went out for recess but they all know you know they're supposed to wear their masks and um, oh oh I think that the oat milk is ready Yep. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that smells good. Oh, I didn't put any sweetener in this. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's tasty. You know what? Sometimes sweeteners can, can ruin. Let me get this started. It can take away some of the flavor of the coffee. I mean, sometimes you want it to, because sometimes you get a cup of coffee that may be too strong for you, or bitter or acidy tasting, and milk will uh, smooth that out, and sweetener will smooth it out. But we'll see how this does. You know, it can always add sweetener, right? So, is it snowing where any of you are? This is making me think of snow. I love snow. I mean, not a lot of it. Just every once in a while would be great. Love watching snowflakes. I love this more. <laughs> a little bit easier to manage, huh? Okay, this should be done in just a few seconds here. This is making a 7.77 ounce cup. I'll probably have a second cup of something later and use my pixie machine. 
which makes the little capsules. So this is the size of the capsule I'm using this morning, but the Pixie machine uses this size capsule because it makes just espressos. My Virtuo machine here can make espressos also, but I don't, I find the flavor not really as intense as when I do them on the Pixie. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Now, I like a cup of coffee or an espresso that's got frothed milk. You know, I like it with just hot milk, too, but there's something that's so fun about the froth. Okay, I guess I'll give it a taste, and we'll see. First, I give it a sniff. Mmm. You know, I think I could have put even more almond in there, but I can detect it. Okay, here goes. This is, you know, it's a very nice flavor, but you know what I'm gonna do? Where is that simple syrup? Here we go. I am gonna add some sweetener and I'll tell you why. It's kind of like the difference between making um, biscuits and making cookies, okay? If you make a recipe, well, let's say you're going to make <clears throat> some cookies, if you don't add enough sugar, you know, I mean, there's just something missing. Um, if you add enough sugar, you get the flavors of everything in the cookie just right. Well, it can be the same with flavored coffees. Sometimes you need some sweetener for that flavor to come through. So it's not just the coffee I'm wanting to taste, but I'm wanting to get that almond flavor too. Little more. And you know, sure enough, now I'm beginning to taste a little bit of the almond flavor. You know what I'm gonna do. Let me get this almond extract back out. I am gonna add some more. I'm just gonna be real careful though. A few drops. Okay. Cause you can overdo it with the extract also. <clears throat> huh, you're the first people I'm talking to this morning. Gotta get the voice clear here. Okay, now give it a try. Oh, now I can really smell it. Oh, and now, whoa, yes. It needed the sweetener. It needed a little bit more almond extract. And now I am drinking an almondy cup of coffee. Oh, this is gonna be yum. You know, it's about, I think, well, what's the temperature outside right now? Let me look here. Okay, 48 degrees. And it's only going to go up into, I think, the high 50s today, and it's going to rain. So it's going to be getting damper out. And at this temperature, oh, you know, it just it kind of goes through you when it's damp cold rather than when it's dry cold. So I've got my fireplace going back here. Can you see that back there? It's just, it's fiber optic, it's not real fire. Although it does have a heater element in it if I want it. But it just, it adds to the mood. It makes things nice. It's just like how the foam on the coffee enhances the experience. Well, anyway, I am just blathering on here. I'm gonna go drink my coffee and listen. Think happy thoughts today as much as you can. Where you have the choice choose to be positive because by golly there's enough negative stuff going around isn't there so if you've got a choice in the matter 
try to choose happy and choose positive. I'll talk to you later.